we understand that the most merciful, the most forgiving God will forgive that person without someone else having to take their sin. Because if you say if you say that Jesus died for our sin and died for the sins of mankind, then God hasn't forgiven them. The difference between yeah. you know, what I said at the beginning, what you said, is that you didn't know that you did wrong. Yeah. Right? So in the Bible it says also that he that knows his sin, it yeah. is sin unto him. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you don't know it's wrong. Okay, that's fair, that's, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. But yeah. it, but okay. have you have so you ever forgiven ha, have you ever forgiven someone who done wrong to you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. E even if they knew they were doing wrong to you. Why? Who who paid for it? You pay for it. Yeah. So what no, that's also kind of different. It is different, not kind of, but it is different. Yeah. The reason why, because we understand that's that's a state. That's one part. Yeah. There's another part which is that if you do wrong, you yeah. have to serve justice. Justice has to be served. You have to go down. Whether if you confess that yeah, I yeah. have done wrong, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, still go down. That like, for example, people that commit murder, rape, yeah, or yeah. even still do robberies or whatever it may be. Yeah. They do wrong. There are people that have said sorry, I confess I've done wrong. But they still go down in the judgment. Okay. But if now someone yeah. is to take that person's position to say, you know what, yeah. I'm the one that did it. And that and say I did it, but he didn't do it. Is that, is that just? That's just that's just the way of looking at it. Is that just? If it, is it just? Yeah. It's just if God says it, it's just. And this is what God is saying. God is saying that. No, no, you, no. Christianity is saying God is saying that. But I'm yeah, asking, yeah, yeah. I'm asking you, is it just that, in, yeah, a, that yes. a person is guilty of a sin, mm -hmm. and the sin is taken from that person yeah, and put on an innocent person? I would say one that's not just, but also it's not merciful. Because justice is, the, the justice is served, the person is punished. We, we, we accept and we believe that God is the most just. God can forgive people and God can punish them. Whenever he punishes them, he punishes them with full justice. justice yeah. God, Allah, will never punish a person more than what they deserve, more than what the sin they've committed. But if you, if you say that, God will not just forgive a person, but someone else has to be punished, then there's no place for forgiveness and there's no place for mercy. How is there not a place for forgiveness? Because to forgiveness... you still have to confess your sin, even yeah, if yeah. you believe in Christ that yeah, he yeah. died. Yeah. So you may um, believe yeah. that he's the one that took the punishment, yeah. Yeah. but you have to confess that you were a sinner. Yeah, to yeah. even have those confessed sins uh -huh. granted unto Christ for him yeah, to yeah. take them away from you. No, no, but, so but, it's not that you just... But, but when God demands uh, justice and he doesn't forgive, then it's still someone has to pay for that sin. So we're saying when someone is uh, forgiven or pardoned, then the sin is taken off that person because God is the most merciful and the most uh, forgiving, the most kind. So when a, we understand a person commits a sin, he appeals to the, he turns to the Creator and seeks forgiveness, and he's forgiven. An innocent person doesn't have to die for them. This is a, this is the utmost mercy, the utmost and then forgiveness. It goes back to yeah. That, the other side of it. Yeah. When people do confess their sin. Yeah. Or confess their wrongdoing. Yeah. The court of the law, yeah. And say, yeah, I'm guilty. No, I've done wrong. They don't go so free. They don't get forgiven. I mean, they can have a lighter sentence. They could, but not all the yeah. time. Or they can, I mean? so they can be given probation. And not all the time. Not all the time, but, but it can happen. But never, there's a, there's a but, but never happens that someone else has to serve the time for them. It's so, happened before though. When? I know of a person who took the guilt for someone else. I don't think it's a man. I don't, not in this life. I know there's a man, you may not know him. Okay. In my generation, he's a man, his yeah. name is Crazy Titch. Yeah. His uncle killed someone. Yeah. But he took the blame for what his uncle did against someone else. And oh. so he went down. Okay, he took he, the blame. He, punished, yeah. he took the blame and the judge believed that yes. what's his name? Crazy Titch. Crazy Titch, yeah. Okay. That's so okay. when Crazy Titch stood in front of the judge yeah. and the judge is giving judgment, did did the judge think that Crazy Titch's uncle done it, but Crazy Titch is willing to take the punishment or did Crazy Titch, Titch tell the judge, I done it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. therefore, the one who's given the judgment, it, the argument doesn't work for you. I think you understand why. Because the judge here, he believes that this person, who's known as Crazy Titch, I mean, he might not like us mentioning his name, but anyway, this particular individual, 
the judge believes that he's done it, so he's punishing him. It's not that um, the judge believes that his uncle done it, but he's willing to take the punishment. See, the problem is, I, I would say, the, there's a few problems. I would say the basis of uh, Christianity built upon the Bible, I would say you can't establish who wrote the Bible. You can't establish it's the word of God. You can't establish that it's come from the messengers, it's come from God. That's, that's one point. But second is, the Quran is very clear. In um, chapter 4, I 157, it mentions, uh, it mentions concerning the Jews. They said in boast that they killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary. And then Allah says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا سَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَا لَهُمْ He said they did not kill him, they did not crucify him, but it appeared so to them. So those people who sought to, uh, they rejected Jesus. The message was given to them from the children of Israel. They rejected him. Then they sought to have him killed. They did not kill him. They did not crucify him. But because uh, some people believed he was killed, they have to give an explanation because they expected the Messiah to come and the Messiah would, would be victorious, grant them victory against the, the enemies, against the Romans, return them back to the temple, etc. and stuff like this. But then the Messiah is coming and they believe he's been killed. So they have to give an explanation. How can it happen? So the explanation is, oh, he must have died for the sins of mankind. But this is not what Jesus taught. Jesus loves all of us, like he said. And to know whether or not he died for our sins. Only God can reveal that. As in, yeah. to each and every individual that lives in this world now, in this generation. Yeah. Because we wasn't there. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah. only God himself can come now in this generation to anyone or as a whole mass of people yeah. and speak to their hearts whether or not Jesus did die for the sins of the world or not. Only God can do that because we weren't there. No, you see, the thing is, sorry. no problem. But see, you understand that you have a Bible, okay? You have four Gospels, you have the letters of Paul, etc., who are in, informing you this is what happened, okay? And we are saying that after Jesus, about 600 years after Jesus, a messenger came, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he came with the last message and he explained who was Jesus, who was Moses, who was Abraham, what was their message, who is God, what has he sent them with. So we have a revelation after that explaining that Allah, God is one. He has no partners, he has no equals, he hasn't taken any sons and Jesus was merely a messenger of high status that he was sent to the children of Israel to call them like Jesus said in the Quran very clearly inna allah rabbi wa rabbukum fa'abudu hadha siratu mustaqim he said verily Allah is my lord and your lord so worship him that is the straight path Jesus never said that he was God or he should be worshipped this is a, a late invention of the church Jesus never called to a thing called the trinity I did you know yeah. Didn't come up with that topic. That's another topic to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether Christ died. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Like I said, we wasn't there. I wasn't there. Yeah. But, but I know what. But we rely on I revelation. Know, you oh. can't rely on just writings. Okay. Like, on. Yeah, you, of, God, on God, writings. God has to, men, God has to open men, a person's heart. Yeah. We know that men wrote all of these things. That I said, yeah, men use a pen to write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and men are feeble men they can make mistakes they can do that they can lie they can lie exactly and the only one that is true that can come against a lie and tell us what the truth is yeah is only god especially the fact that he wasn't there only god can tell us of the things of the past where we didn't exist and the things of the future as well yeah 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 where we actually right now don't exist so yeah. in this time in the present as we exist now yeah we only we have to go to god and then receive what he is saying to me as an individual and as you and you. Whether the statement that Jesus Christ yeah. did die for the salvation of the world, yeah, yeah. or if he didn't die for the salvation, which one should I believe? You have to ask God. And only God can reveal it to every man. Because we oh. wasn't there, like I said. Yeah, but, but, you, but, you know, but if we keep on saying that, I know, I know. No, but the but problem, the, the, pro us, the problem is here. The, the problem, problem is here. Look, is okay. I'm a Muslim. Yes. And I have the Quran. The Quran is telling me something. Okay. 
and you are a Christian and the Bible is telling you something. Okay, that's what you believe, what the Bible says. Okay, let me come. And the reason why I believe. Let me come to it. Let me, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. And you believe that God has guided you to accept the message of the Bible. I know that it has. Not okay, that I believe. Okay, no. okay. And I believe and I know that God has, that God has guided me to the message of the Quran. So what is the criteria between us? The difference between, Mr. Yeah. Brown, What's the criteria? A, that's the criteria. Yeah. yeah. The criteria you, you, is that something we which have you, two books. Something which you cannot demonstrate and I can't demonstrate. Like, yeah. you, 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 can, you, can say, you can say all you want that God has guided me, I know it's true. But then we can have a Muslim say the same, a Hindu say the same, a Buddhist say the same. And even if you have um, a Protestant, the, the Catholic would say, I have been guided. And the, the Protestant would say, no, you haven't. And when I say guided, I'm, yeah. I'm saying that God is... Allah directs you, open up in your heart. Yeah. That's a, yeah, and opens your heart to accept the truth. That, yeah. But that God has told you yeah. that yeah. specifically yeah. that these words are true. Yeah. That God has spoken into your heart and you uh -huh. receive And you know the time uh -huh. when it happened. Because uh -huh. I know the time and the place when it happened with me. Uh -huh. And it was actually here when it happened with me. Okay, prove it to me. No, I can't. that's what I'm saying. And so this is what I'm not trying to yeah. prove it to you. What I'm trying yeah. to do yeah. is open up our minds uh -huh. to what we have to do uh -huh. to receive the truth. Uh -huh. And what we have to do is seek God how do, how and, and ask Him and that's it. How do you, how, how do you know that? And receive how, how do you know that? Because the Bible tells us. Okay. Exactly. Look, you're, 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 the Bible tells us. you're stuck here. You're stuck here. No, no. I'm going to yeah. tell you the reason okay. why I say the Bible yeah. tells us. Yeah. And it's confirmed that it's true. Yeah. Because God Himself has yeah. revealed it to me. Uh -huh. that these words are true. It's, it's easy. It, 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 you're, you're in a circle. You're in a circle. You're in a circle. You're in a circle. Last yeah. thing I say. No, not last thing. Let's continue. Oh, yeah. That yeah. God. Yeah. It is good to say. Yeah. The one who is true. Yeah. Not man. Yeah. But God alone. He's the one that should reveal what the truth is yes. to us. Because yes. we are men. Yes. So we can't say we're going to just rely on writings. No, no, I, I didn't say that. I didn't so say that at all. So we need God yeah. himself. Yeah. We have our, let's say, uh -huh. our subjective experience. That's good for me. But I'm not telling you that you should believe what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. I'm not telling you agree with what I'm saying. I'm saying to you yeah, yeah. that you should go to God and yeah. ask Him for uh, yourself so you can receive oh, from what He is saying. That's as, it. as Muslims, as Muslims, you know we pray every day. Okay. And every time we pray, we recite Ihdina Siratul Mustaqim. Guide us to the straight path. Siratul Ladina Anamta Alayhim. Guide us to the path of those you had your favor upon. Those those that God has favored are the prophets, the the martyrs. Uh, the was the Sorry, the the prophets, the messengers, the truthful people, the martyrs, and the righteous. So we every day we ask for this guidance, and we are guided to this. But the, the problem is here: you have a um, a circle where you're saying, "I know it's true because God has opened my heart to it." That's how, that's how you know that the message of the Bible is true. And then I'm asking you. How do you know that this is how God will reveal it to you? You're saying because, because the Bible told me to. So this is a vicious circle. Yeah, this is, I, I didn't yeah, do that. I didn't yeah, stop there. Yeah. Not that the Bible says these things, yeah. but God himself reveals these things. Yeah, and but I, we know but as, then, but then as... But when I asked you, how do you know God reveals it like in this manner, in this way, you said because the Bible informs me. Yeah, that's, that's my point. And but, the greater witness yeah. is God, uh -huh. and the God has to confirm these things that I'm reading in the Bible. Yeah, but if He doesn't confirm it. But, then you're, but you're still you're still basing it on your subjective opinion, yeah, yeah. and the problem is your subjective but opinion is is that God has to tell no, you. no, that's no. That's, that's your, the subjective opinion is that God has told that a Catholic can have the same subjective or claim to have the same subjective opinion. A, 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 mus a Muslim, a Muslim can. A Hindu yeah, can, to say a that, Buddhist but you can. You know in your yeah. heart what is true. Yes. You know whether you receive confirmation from God or not. No, and no, you no. know the time. And, and, the if a per and if a person is mad, and if a person's a liar, they know. Yeah. They know. Okay. But the problem. And they know. I know. Okay. And you okay. know yourself. The problem is. Whether you the problem lie is, or not. Okay. I know if I lie. The problem is. The problem is. So it's up to yeah, yeah. to decide. But the problem is. Look, to ask God the problem is. But you're saying how do I prove that? How to prove it? You're saying how do I? No, no. No, you know what is the truth. All things to be proven. Okay? So mm. How you prove that? Mm. 
what you are saying is true. That you should go and ask God no, to tell you whether the, 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 the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Quran says concerning Jesus, it says, Kul in kuntum Bring your evidence if you are truthful. And then the letters of Paul, the writings of Paul says, prove all things and hold on to that which is good. Mm. But you are basically saying that you can't actually provide evidence because it's a subjective, personal opinion. So my thing is that truth and falsehood is always going to be against each other from the beginning of time till the end of time. And truth, to bring truth, you need to provide evidence. So when you base something on the Bible, my, my point is, okay, the Quran, the Quran states it's the word of Allah. It's been sent down, revelation from Allah. It's been sent down and brought down by the Prophet, uh, sorry, by the angel Gabriel, brought down to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Quran will be preserved and will be pr protected and memorized until the last day. And the, the Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger. This is all clearly stated in Quran. Now, if someone's bringing the, the Bible and they're bringing 66 books, and then someone else is bringing 73, and someone else is bringing 80. But when we, when, when we look at these books, when we look at these books, the vast majority do not tell us who wrote them. They do not tell us when they were written. And they don't even claim to be the Word of God. The vast majority. And the vast majority of them don't claim to be uh, inspired by God. And then, at the same time, in them we have contradictions and differences. And they were all, like the 27 books of the New Testament were written all after Jesus. You're saying... Then why can I rely on this? That's why we stick it to one topic. Yeah. And it's the best topic. The topic whether or not Christ died for the sins of the world. Why? Because the Quran... But you're basing because, it on the Bible. Because the Quran says that the, he didn't. Yes. And the Bible says he did. That's yes. why... I'm, so, any any other topic it's good to know Sorry, yeah yeah like other topics yeah yeah but this topic is the best and yeah, the yeah, reason yeah. why it's the best yeah. because it's about whether or not we're going to be saved in the end no yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's if not. i believe that jesus yeah. died for my sin yeah, yeah. i'll be saved you say no no if I, not no, if you no, believe it if it's true yeah if it's if true when you true. believe it if, you, so, if it's know, true, if then, you believe it, it won't save you. If you believe something false, it won't save you. Of course not. Exactly. So, so it has exactly. to be true. Exactly. Yes. So when it, and when how it, do we know it is the truth? Based on a book, because the book is informing you. And the four, so the the four Gospels, with yeah. You, you're saying it's based yeah. on yes. the book yes. that's informed, that claims to be the Word yeah. of God. Yes. So then, so we, have, then we have saying, to test it. Then we have to test it. Yeah. yeah. So we test and the book. Now books. listen, you said something about experience and evidence. Yeah, yeah. The way we have provide evidence or we accumulate evidence is by witnessing things uh -huh. through our senses touch smell no no you said you things. said they were personal and subjective and you can't and i asked yeah. you to demonstrate it and you said you well, can't you said you can't what you say say that again. you when yeah, i yeah, yeah. when I, you said when god spoke to you yeah. and told you this is the truth yeah, that's me. you said you, know I mean? you said yeah. it's subjective mm -hmm. And it's something personal yeah. and you can't demonstrate it to me yeah. so we can't judge by that so what, God so, could tell me right okay, now yeah. to tell you this is the truth that can happen, okay. right? But you may not pick it up. Do you? Do you? That's think, why I'm saying you should go yeah. to God yourself, uh -huh. rather than me. Uh, as I said, mean. as I, I said, we do. You, I'm not telling you that you should. Yeah, yeah. You should hear yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. And confirm. I'm saying, go to God and ask Him uh -huh. whether the things that I'm saying are true or not. And you said that. And That's what, what was my reply? To to and what was my reply? You said that you have. But you never, Five times and, a day. But you never said yes. that he's come to you and told you uh -huh. that the words of the scripture, which is about uh -huh. Jesus Christ, yeah. dying for your sins, is true. You not said that. Okay. So okay. you're not giving me the day and the time when God Himself. Okay. Whereby but, you've asked Him. Okay. No problem. You need to I'll, I'll explain to you. What, I'll explain to you why. I received the revelation. In, the is, in Islam, in Islam, it doesn't state that you need to you need to state the day and the time to know that God has guided you. Okay. You make a claim. That has, no, I'm not talking about guiding. I'm talking yeah. about telling you uh -huh. whether Jesus Christ okay. died. That's what I'm asking. Okay, okay. Not okay. guiding. When I, when I have a book. Because anyone okay. can be guided yeah, and yeah. guided by every, any spirit. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let, let. But when did God but, tell you that? But, Jesus but the thing is, when I asked you, when I asked you, how do you know that's a requirement? Okay. That is a requirement. Okay. You said the Bible. And when I ask you, can you prove the Bible? You're missing it out. Let me finish. You're, you're let me finish. Sir, let me finish. Let me, I said, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I said the Bible, and I mm. said 
God confirming what the Bible is saying to me. Okay. That's what I said, okay. but you keep missing that. Yes, out. yes, yes, you yes. Can't, I can't read the Bible L listen, without God confirming. Listen, listen, words. listen, listen. No, so anyone saying, can read the Bible. Exactly, if, but no, if it's my, about God confirming. Listen, it, listen, care, listen, listen, not, listen you know? carefully. Listen carefully. You said that your subjective personal experience, which yes. you cannot demonstrate to me. And I said to and you, said, let, let me finish, let me finish. And I said, how do you know that that is how God informs you you're correct? And you said, the Bible. And what else? Uh, and what else is that saying? The same thing, the personal experience, which you cannot demonstrate. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah. Bible says it, and yeah. also the fact that God will confirm what the Bible is saying. No, 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 Not no. Not only no. that, the, I'm no, reading this Bible, let, like let me finish, Jesus let, me fin I let me finish, so, that the, so that's, that's still, that's, I don't have confirmation from okay. God that he did that. So the confirmation, the confirmation mm -hmm. and the personal experience is all based on the Bible. That's the foundation. That's it's what not the foundation. Your, your, personal experience, look, your personal experience, you're saying that this is, what, this is how God tells me it's true because the Bible tells me. And you're saying that this is, the Bible is true because my personal experience confirmed it. Because yeah. what God has said. Yes, you believe, you believe that yeah. God has said it about it. Yeah, I know that he has said it. Okay, so then it comes to the simple fact of, okay, this Bible, this Bible. Yeah. So do you know who wrote it? Do I know who wrote the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. Were they trustworthy? Are Were we, they eyewitnesses? This, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We're going off the topic. It's not. It's not. It's the, the main topic. The main topic is, is the Bible the Word of God or is, or is the Quran the Word about, of God? We're yeah. talking about what it says in the Quran and what it says in the Bible. Whether or not we'll be safe with believing in Jesus Christ yeah. for our sins or yeah. not. That's the main topic and the yeah, greatest yeah. topic. Uh, but you're basing on the Bible topic. and I'm basing on the Quran. And so so I'm, I'm, I, I have to demonstrate that the Quran mm -hmm. is the word of God. And you have to demonstrate that the Bible is the word of God. And I'm giving you that opportunity. Whether we read in like Chronicles, yeah? Yeah. And just read something random. Second Chron Chronicles. And who, who wrote Chronicles? Chapter 10. Who wrote Chronicles? It's not, yeah. as, re it's not as relevant to know as knowing whether Jesus Christ died for your sins. Because knowing who wrote Chronicles won't give you salvation. No, no, no. Knowing but, if Jesus Christ died for your sin will. That's what I'm saying. Sir, Stick sir, to that topic. sir, sir, think, think. But you're think, trying to say, let's think, try to credit, just, let's try to credit. No, no, no. Whether what, Jesus what, Christ died for your yeah. sins or not by using another scripture. Which, as, 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 Jesus, as you said, as you said, as you said, take a deep breath and think. As you said, me and you were not there. Two thousand years ago, when Jesus walked the earth, I wasn't there. One thousand four hundred years ago, when Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam walked the earth, I wasn't there. Okay, I wasn't there when Moses walked the earth, alayhi salam. I wasn't there when Abraham walked the earth, alayhi salam. And what? I believe it. I didn't witness it with my eyes. Okay, but I believe it because of what I believe is revelation. The Quran has come to me. And you believe in it based on the Bible. Say that again, that you believe that the I believe it based on the Quran. The Quran informs me of these things. It informs me of Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 1,400 years ago. So yes. similar to what you were saying about all the other prophets that no, you, let, didn't witness, let, let, you didn't witness the Quran be written I, at that time. Let, let me conclude my point. All right. Okay. And the same way you were not witness to the... That's right, correct. So, so you believe what you believe based on what has come in the Bible. And then you're saying that the experience, the personal subjective experience with God confirms that put, put and together. has guided you. You have to put them yes, together. Yes, yes. But, 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 but when I asked you, when I asked you, how do you know that this is the criteria, mm -hmm. you said the Bible told me. So it's still, and see, let me finish, let me finish, let me, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, I, let me finish, let me, fin let me finish my point, let me finish my point, let me finish my point. So therefore, the simple way would be to establish, is the Bible conveying the word of God, the message of God, or is the Quran? So then we need to know, we need to know something about the books themselves. I think the, the problem is that I think you have some understanding that mo the majority of the books are anonymous. You don't know who wrote them. You don't know if they're eyewitnesses or not. Like I said. So, so therefore, you want to avoid the issue and you want to belittle no, no, the issue. I don't mind. You, I want, don't to, mind. you I, want to belittle the issue. I don't mind going. Okay. But hear what? Yeah. It doesn't make a hear difference what? to you. What? what yeah. It doesn't make 
a difference to you. It doesn't make no difference. But you're, because of this fact. Yeah. The fact that your, it should. The, the fact that your Quran is saying yeah. that Jesus yeah. didn't die on the cross. Yeah. And the fact that the Bible says he did die on the cross. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like I said, I wasn't there. This is the major topic. But it's the book that tells is you. It's, but, it's, but it's the book so that tells you. We're talking you. about this specific it's, topic. Yes, yes. But, it, but you're basing because on the book. The you're basing. For example, there's some stories yeah. in here yeah. that are not in the Quran. Right? Yeah, that's that's regardless. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That, but the that's story regardless. About Jesus Christ is in both books. Yes, yes, yes. So there, so but therefore, one is, therefore, both of them conflict one another. Yes. So right? therefore, so we need to know about this one. Yes. This is the most important. And, so we don't need to and bring because, about different uh, No, 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 no. I'm not talking about different things because you're basing on accounts in the Gospels, on the Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John, and you're basing it on the letters of Paul. And then a Christian would say that in the Old Testament. There's prophecies or there's foreshadows that this is going to happen. That's, your, that's the basis of your evidence. So when the Bible says, prove all things and hold on to that which is good, yeah. proof is something which you present to people. You can't say, you can't like in, in a court, you can't say, um, the judge says, what's your evidence? And say, I know. It's my personal experience. It's my subjective. The judge is going to say, just get out. Okay. Don't waste my time. So, so what's, what I'm saying is, if we're basing on the Quran, we have to demonstrate that the Quran was revealed from Allah by the angel Gabriel to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it's with us today. How and, do you demonstrate? And then you have to do the same with the Bible. Do you, do you agree? Yeah, I, I mean, I can open the Bible and show you what it says. Similar yeah. to what yeah, you... Yeah, yeah, prove, prove, prove it is correct, you yeah. show me the yeah. Quran and show yeah. you what it says. Yeah. But who said any of them were true? That's that's what we that's exactly. the that, that's, that's the saying. main discussion. So then, yeah. then you have to find out. Okay. The only way to find out is if God witnesses. No, to no, no, no. And the, you said no, the, hold no, on, hold on. No, Before the, you continue, no, no. That is very wrong for no, you to say that. No, no. You don't need the, God to tell no, you. No, because witness. because because you wasn't there. Your Bible you says prove things. all things. It can't be. Look, the you proof, didn't witness Jesus. Look, 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 did you again, Muhammad? but you know so by but you believe it because you believe it by the Bible and I believe it by the Quran. I just said that's what you're missing out, and you know what you're doing. Yeah. I, I know. I, I do know what I'm doing. By yeah. God confirming no, it to you, and you no, said no. You don't want no, to confirm. But you can't demonstrate. So no, you can't demonstrate it. It's not you, about demonstration. You can't, it's, it's, of course it because is. Because because you cannot demonstrate. Even if like you ate this you, morning, I don't know if you ate this morning. You could tell me, but okay. that doesn't mean it's true. But my salvation. If God comes to me. My salvation is like, not based on my breakfast. I know that. But I know that. Your book. Giving an example no, no, no. Again, your book says. Your book says. Your book says. Prove all things and proof. You can't prove something to someone based on a subjective, personal experience. How can you prove that Muhammad existed? Okay, is that a question? No, no, no. but how yes. can you prove? Because okay. you wasn't there to see him, okay. so how can you prove to me that okay. Muhammad was alive? That's a good question. Okay, so I'm going to answer you. Okay. Do you require for someone to exist in the past that you have to see them? 100%. So you don't believe Napoleon existed, you don't believe Alexander the Great, Napoleon, Alexander the Great. I don't know who they are. You don't believe anyone. Do you, I've heard of them, but I don't know they Do you believe them. your grandparents existed? Do I believe my yeah, grandparents yeah. existed? Yeah. You have seen my grandparents, I know that they existed. Do you believe Moses no, existed? Yeah, I know that he existed. Why, how That's do you know? confirmation of God. That's what I'm saying. Can you break down the confirmation so these of God? So uh, these are the things no, that need to be... No, no. Okay, things. okay, 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 let's see, okay. You, uh, there's a let brain, me finish, let me finish. They say there's a brain in here, right? Who says? People say that they've opened up skulls and okay. seen a brain okay. and okay. it looks let like me ask, let me I don't ask, know what it looks let, like. Let, I don't let, know what let, me, let me ask you a question right? based on that. Okay, and you believe you have a brain because God confirmed it to you? But this is not... Do you believe you have a brain because God yeah, confirmed like it to you? Do you believe you had a brain because God confirmed it to you? The way I function is how I function. I don't okay. see my brain and what it looks like. Okay, but it's do you... It's called a brain, Okay, right? so I asked you, I asked you, I asked you... But it's not important, I, I like asked, you said, I asked, whether Jesus Christ died no, no. for yourself. I asked you, did Moses the exist? The most important thing I asked, is no I asked Jesus you, Christ did Moses you, exist? That's the most and you important. said yes. Because me and knowing said, if I have a brain or not, or okay. knowing if... You, you, you say everything you want to say. Yeah. Me knowing whether you ate or not this morning is yeah. not important as knowing Jesus Christ. Are you re are you repeating what I said? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. This is what we. Then let me say let me say something new. So we, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me say something new. I asked you, did Moses exist? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I believe Moses exists. No. I believe that Moses exists because the Quran has informed me of it. Okay. You're saying 
that you believe that God, Moses exists because the Bible, or you know he exists because the Bible, ha oh, sorry, sorry, because God has, has confirmed, has confirmed it to you. Yes. Okay. Now, when the Bible says, prove all things, based on your proof, prove to me that Moses exists by the evidence which you have. By the evidence that I have? Yeah. I said I can't. But the Bible, saying, no, but, then, but, then, but then you can't prove all things. Prove all things? Does the Bible say prove all what things? It, on, what does it say exactly? Prove all things. Uh, it says prove all things and hold on to that which is good. You have and to prove things. That which yeah. is good. And also the Bible says that when someone comes to you, always be ready to give them an yeah, answer. An answer. So, and I'm giving you an answer, but, yeah, but you're not but your answer, and My answer is that yeah. you need to seek God and ask Him whether Jesus Christ okay. did die but the problem, and receive revelation and confirmation from but, Him. That's my answer. No, but you no, don't want to take problem it because is, you don't want to ask Him. No, no, no. I've, just I've speak asked Him. him. I've asked, think, no, no, no. It's not what know. I think. Look, it, look, let you me don't know until let me tell the truth God tells you. No let me one can know let me tell you. except God me, tells them that Jesus existed no, this is, or not. This is, or just, Muhammad this is just some you emotional there, idea. Didn't you didn't let, okay, let me finish. Let I'm me finish. trying to be, I'm telling you the truth. No, but and even every man that's listening, they need to hear it as well. Listen, listen. You're still, go and see you're God still, and ask him you're and still, revelation you're still, you're, you your have belief in this book. Okay. Because you have, God will confirm No, but you don't know who God. wrote the book. Okay, is this the word of God? Okay, is this the word? Is this is this the word of God? Talking about Jesus Christ dying for the sins. But it's based on this book. Is this book the word of God? I will ask this question. Yeah. Will you go to God and ask Him which statement is true? Would you ask Him whether Jesus Christ died for my sin? Would you do that? When I when I go. Have you ever done that? No, because I don't need so, to. No, I, 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 I that don't. That is so wrong, then, bro. No, you know that's wrong. Okay. You can't say you have don't you... need to ask God to receive Ca the truth. No. From God. Okay. So how can you know the truth if you haven't asked God? Calm down. Who knows? And you calm wasn't, down. Remember, you wasn't there. In that okay. Time. Listen. Calm down. So you need calm to down. ask God. That's what calm I'm down. You know. Listen. As I said to I'm you. Okay. I'm just trying to let you know. Uh, no. You need to hurry up no. No. The same. The same. No. You're going around in circles because, as I said to you. I listen this last one. Okay. No problem. I'll make, we'll we put this aside because I've already answered it. Simple. And what was the answer? You don't that, need to, you, the answer is that you don't need to no, ask God. No, 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 no please, that's please, that's please. That's listen, I, I will tell you what my answer was. I will, I, will ask I will tell you what my answer was if you didn't hear it. My answer was, I have a belief based on the Quran, you have a belief based on the Bible. And when I'm asking you for evidence to present it, you're talking about something which is personal and subjective, which you cannot, you cannot evidence. So, and you're saying you ask God to guide you, and this is what he done. No, I ask God to reveal. To reveal to you. Truth. Okay, reveal the truth. And we ask God to guide us, and he guided us to this. And there are many people. Okay, that's fine. That's uh, listen, listen. That's and then, let and me, let it, me no, finish. No, let me finish. I'm only repeating you what you didn't understand. God. Now I'm telling you the point is, we still go back to the book in your hand. Yeah. If you don't know who wrote it, you don't know when it was written, it doesn't claim to be the word of God. It doesn't claim to be inspired by God. And it well, contains... It does. It does. Well, it that's what you have to show. It does say, it does say that. You probably know it does say that. Right? Okay. In 2 Timothy chapter exactly. 3, verse 16, exactly. which biblical scholars say was not written by Paul. Which you're talking about human beings, what they're saying. The vast majority. We're talking about what God is saying. Yeah, we have you're to. You're trying to find not what men yeah. are saying. That's the thing. You're basing your think faith about it. Think about on it. What men are saying, no, and not what God is no, saying. No, I'm based on I'm based on revelation, but I have to, to prove. I'm based on ask, revelation. Yeah, yeah, if you ask, but then you then you receive the answer. Okay. You don't confirm Excuse me. something Listen, without receiving no, your answer. No, no, I'm based on revelation by knowing that the revelation is the word of God. But you, you said you know that. Yes, I know. I know. I know. The Quran itself. You see, you said the Quran. Yeah. The Quran yes. is written by men. No, let me explain to you. Let, the Quran let is me, written by men. Let me saying, explain to you. And in the Quran, it let, says that these are the words of Allah. Right? Yes. And that's what men have written down. That's fine. Okay. But let then you me, let me explain to, to you how. Let me explain to you how. Let me let me explain to you now. Okay. Let me let me explain like to you. Said, let I me explain to you. Let 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 me let me explain to you. 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 Well, the Quran. Fighting, this, I'm telling you. Listen, listen, listen. No, just stop anyway, listen, listen. Ask God. That's what I'm Be honest. Be ask honest. God. If you don't know who wrote the book. No, I'm do saying you, who, do you, who, 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 okay. We're not talking about that. No, you, you seem to be avoiding the issue. Because you don't you need see, to go into it. The reason you why you want to go into it is no. because you want to pollute. 
the minds it's not of pollute. what it's we're talking about. You're basing about something on a book. Which is about Jesus but you, Christ okay. dying for your sin. You don't, That's yeah, the most based important on your thing. book. Based That's on your book. About. But you don't know Jesus who wrote Christ the book. You have four That's Gospels. You don't know who wrote them. They contradict. They contradict each other. Ask God about it. Ask God about it. If Jesus died for your sins, I don't need to. You say you don't I, need to. Because I have revelation. I have the Quran and, and it informed me it never happened. What uh, God is saying about your Quran, whether uh, it is true or not, you can't confirm the Quran is true. Stay That's here what, and we'll confirm it to you. Have a good one. But you can't confirm your book. You don't know who wrote it. God has confirmed it to me. I know the truth. Can you break down that? Well, you know, okay, you show, know show, us, show us, us that God has confirmed it to you. How, how, how did God confirm to you a book? Revelation has stopped. No, no. Until you, until you never know the truth. Okay, show us how God yeah. confirmed it to you. But yeah, yeah. you can. What did that bring? Yeah. You can. It's what? by him speaking to me in my spirit. Even Okay, dem demonstrate that to us. Demonstrate that to us. Can you break down how can I find that answer? Just like I was saying, how 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 can you tell me that? I was having experience. You tell me that Muhammad was visited by an angel. So you're not I'm, I'm, I'm going you're to not say, going to say the writings. That's his own experience. Yes. Not yeah, but I'm, go, I'm, I'm going to tell you. So how can you believe that Muhammad I'm, was visited? You wasn't there. I'm, I'm going to tell you. You can't prove to I'm me going that Muhammad. I'm angel. going to. Now you're not answering now, the question. Now you're you avoiding it. Yeah, you're you still right. don't know who wrote that your book. Muhammad books. got the revelation of God you got that yes. from an angel yes. saying that Jesus didn't die for your sins. Yes. You can't prove that okay. that, that happened because you wasn't there. Okay. That's why you said. That's why I keep saying you have to ask God who was there to confirm and you. You're saying no, no, and that's it. No, if you don't want to do that. You have to know this book is from Why God. Because God told me. I know it. Alhamdulillah. Wa alaykum salam. You're okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, Alhamdulillah, as you can see, uh, the young person, he has a belief. We asked him to demonstrate his belief based on his book, but he doesn't know who he's written the book. And his point is that God has guided him. When we ask him to demonstrate and show us, he said it's a personal subjective opinion which, he, which only he has. The problem with this is how do you demonstrate it? How do you prove it? So we're asking him to go back to his book and we go back to the Quran and we demonstrate which is the word of the Creator which was sent down to a messenger. And I believe the young man, he understood, but he wanted to avoid the issue. So Alhamdulillah. Oh. How's it going, bro? How are you? Everything okay?